What is going on, CLT scene? Took a little bit too long over on the intro, but that is fine. It is Saturday. <coughs> it is Saturday night. So I hope you're doing fine. I hope you're doing well. I hope I see you, but hey, it is what it is. We're coming in here at a special time, a special place, because we are going to I know that I we were playing on the streets, and I came to the conclusion that I really didn't want to play for myself, and it was going to take excessively long time, and we just don't stream that much, since we're a variety channel so far as any of the games we play. It would take a lot to bump around to go to Dark Cloud, and... Typically, the streams for this game take about five hours. We just don't have the time. Um, and I just really, really, really wanted to play it. But we're going to go through some of the things that I found out, some of the quick tips, tricks, and everything that got me through. Yes, I spent an excessive amount of time playing this game. But at the same time, I found really cool shit. Like, where to level faster. Ultimate weapons, um, things of that nature. So there's still a few trophies to get over on the PS5 side, but at the same time, um, we've pretty much got everything. I need to fish more. Um, there, are, I have to level some of the things naturally, but for the most part, after that point, there isn't too terribly much more to kind of go for. It's not, none of them are JRPG staples, if you don't count the rabbit and the cat girl. Um, Tellen comes from kind of like a mix of South American city, South American town, with how everybody is dressed and put together. Um, Goro comes from an actual like village out in the woods, a little bit more primitive, not 
primitive, but definitely closer to the land. Um, Hunter-gatherer, like, tribe-ish. Everyone has the animals over them. You kill, you, you kill it, you wear it. The genie symbolizes Middle East. Then we also have someone who looks very much like they would come from desert African country, and then also you have your rabbit. Um, the point I'm making with that is the fact that I did think, I didn't think much of it when I was a kid, but how we have it kind of set up with a party, it kind of has like all, all over the world type of vibe. weapon in the game, which is super crazy. Also, now it heals her. Um, and that's not even, like, the final weapon. It's not even the final four. So, kind of neat. Uh, Cat Girl is the best fighter I've got. And then you have my genie, and then you have my machine gun. I'm probably not going to upgrade their weapons, but I'm going to upgrade it basically I'm gonna go through and upgrade Chio's weapon probably one more time. Uh, maybe on the stream, maybe not. But yeah, I've basically like, I took this game offline, I played the crap out of it, and I started stacking all of my items as much as I could. I know when I get to the final battle, it's on. So, what we are going to do. found a place where basically I can go ahead and do as much damage as possible and get the most cred out. Um, and do it in a hurry. All the experience of the weapons exist in the shipwreck. Long I don't really need to upgrade my weapons any more than I already have them, but at the same time, why not? Just a little bit. I want to cause the final boss a little bit more damage. I'm 
pretty much just go right through and like smack people right now. And since this heaven form is a brand new weapon still, I'm still I'm picking up all of this experience for not a lot of work. But I've also got like over a hundred damage. I'm gonna go through I don't know how long it's gonna take to fight the final boss, but there's a lot of stuff that we have to do in between the actual attacks, the forms, um, the phases, that is a little crazy. At least I thought so when I was getting my butt handed to me, but...
did I did run into a glitch the other day where the random the dungeon generated, but it didn't generate a complete floor, so I fell through and was just on top of the stage for a bit. Um, didn't break the game, I didn't have to restart it, thank god. But I did have to get out of the stage, which took about half of my money away, which I didn't really have anyway. That's one of the troubles as well. I have to have over like seven seventy thousand. Which isn't hard if I'm getting um Also get a couple of the final weapons. Like Goro has his battle axe that his dad had. It's the it's the base battle weapon. Not the There it is. Yeah, like topazes, periods, or, um, diamonds, all 
give you all the stats in the world or any time that like you put it into a weapon. Not okay. Yeah, it's a little bit, of, a little bit of an exaggeration. Gives you a ton. Gives you a ton. take a stroll over to the final dungeon or the final area where the final dungeon is it's kind of a lot of story that was missed but that's okay. so let's go ahead and sell some stuff back I had like three stamina potions before, now I have all of them. As much as possible, so we sell that. Um, do not need these one level things. Honestly, if I'm gonna go and take this on, I can buy all of these. So, I need to rock. I need to rock a thousand or so. We've got that. I'm gonna leave these. I think I'm good on waters. This is the only shop in the game that actually sells the stamina potion. That's 300 a pop. Good lord. Um, that's gonna be good. Might as well do more. Even it out. It's time to move on. So, no room castle. Matataki village. Queens. Not New York. And then we were in Muskalaka. The Sun and Moon Temple. We were over in Yellow Drops, so basically we were just chilled on the moon. And now we're over in Dark Heaven Castle. The final zone of the game. We broke through the clouds, we got to the genie, we found out the genie wasn't the genie, it was just something possessing another creature. And now we're about to go fight the back. And the guy 
guy that we fought at the very beginning of the game, he was the former king, and more or less, he went back in time to grab us, so that we could go back, or he came forward in time, so we could go back in history. It's time to run. He went forward in time, so he gets something from us, so, and then went back in time, or put us back in time.
give it to me, you can't drink out the very fun with time. Beyond that, I will reign over all. As long as human hatred runs pure and clear, I will exist without it. We'll see about that. It's never going to be Let's go. Okay, so first phase is going to be basically his hands.
Now it's face.
we level up. Indeed, you possess great power. But I am immortal. Every time I fall, I will be reborn again. Classic villain talk. Don't you see the futil futility of it? Killing me is wasted energy. I hope this exercise. I am infinite. That's what they all say. <laughs> Go down, bro. Did you need more return if you don't get rid of Sinnoh's hate energy and look around you carefully? Okay. Altamata has the power to seal almost anything in Hepla, but its power exceeds beyond that. Okay, so what did it do? Now it's time to use the hit power. Hit power. Power to real lost soul. Yeah, Lamata will be consumed by the final power. That evil will never come back to life, but not least for not some time. So because, okay. Uh, so what had happened was, he went, summoned power, got great power, was able to wipe off, they were in a war, he was able to wipe out the, the other side, when his nation was on the brink of defeat. Celebrating, she comes in, assassin comes in, tries to kill him, kills her instead, releases the hate from his body that gave him the power to go and take over the nations, and that's pretty much where we got caught up in this game. So because we went and brought her back to life, he doesn't go evil, insane, hate, and we get to live to see another day. And I don't even think that the king knows what happened. This is a nice ending. Never here. This game is one of the very few times you'll ever hear of time travel not messing with.
Okay, so this took place 400 years ago. So we're going to the present. Maybe. Now we're just going to end credits. to see those words. And I'm going to try to platinum into this game, too. Ooh, yes. There is an extra dungeon that gets added to the game. So a new land was added to the world map. I do. So I feel like we should... I'm going to at least go take a look, and then I think we'll go and explore a little bit of what I have on the PS5 right now. For this special free play. 
play presentation. Replayed this, got my weapon up, and then I started a third file, and this is where I've been ever since. There's a final, final boss at the very beginning, very bottom of this, which... Okay, so there's no boxes around, I know that much. But this is a cool thing because it allows you to kind of like go and still work with your characters if you want. Um, but I wonder if there's a way to like go down each level, not to start at the beginning.
saved the area, but it didn't save anything else. Yeah, it didn't say. 
gets that does get me to the back.
enemies left, I don't think I'm gonna be able to level up on them. Not to say I won't try, but...
So it says we can re-enter it at the next level. I don't I just want to see. Like I said, there's a hundred levels to the demon shaft. So I'm not 100 percent sure. Demon Shadow. Yeah, floor two. Um, I guess we'll go. But I'm not staying. Basically, it's all my own enemies. Okay, I guess
the back and try again. I wouldn't hate doing that. try a fight or in the game again <laughs> for any strange reason I can absolutely go do that and I can be super 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 powered up which I'm totally cool that's a wrap that's a wrap on this game anyway um, I'm not gonna delete it because I'm probably gonna go back in at some point. Or, yeah, I want to definitely go and get the Dungeon Master Platinum. But let's see here. Let's just go through them. So, call to hunch successfully. Force to open a che treasure chest by guessing its trap. Heads up, kill enemy with a thrown weapon. Use changing so get chi uh, Chayo. So you're checking an item and check in stand in powder or the birds arrange ten trees some of these are kind of dumb sticky fingers steal stuff status break so make one of the weapons after level five or get the fishing rod Let's see here get a request Symbol basically reassemble your house, upgrade a weapon ten times, get even strong even stronger, build a weapon to a new weapon. None of these are super hard. Attaching the sun to a weapon, haven't gotten the sun in the game, still have to figure out what's going on with that. I think there's something wrong with this file, but we'll see. Um catch a bear and guy on fish. Max out any attribute for a weapon without an attachment. So yeah, it's it's these three I have left. It's two gold, and then Dran, Uten, the Ice Queen, King's Curse, which is basically like that, the um, Crypt, Apophagus, Minotaur Joe and the Moon, Learn the Wind Slash, boost the character's defense by eating their favorite food, Edge of Fish that's under 100 in length, so I need to go fishing for some of these. 
and then defeat the Dark Genie, let's go home. I got two gold, and then accumulate a bunch of gold, which I'm just using my cat girl in the secret dungeon, I can accumulate the gold wheel. And of course, acquire some Ella. So, that is how we got to, what, what was it telling me before? Oh, so now I'm 320 on trophy. That's kind of dope. Um, beat Carter the other day. Hollow Knight we just started. Grand Theft Auto V was playing on the PS4. Blasphemous, I got most of the trophies, but I haven't... It's a lot. It's a lot to get some of them. Um, Blasphemous 2 is still working on. Wild at Heart, I could definitely... I beat the game so I can go through and get those trophies. Hat in Time... Hat in Time would be a fun, like, little game to play on here. Uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Eyes of Heaven. That's a dope game, but most of the trophies you have to do are now, like, online exclusives. Call to the Lamb, definitely need to go through and finish up. PS4 and PS5 version. That's kind of weird. I'm playing this, I'm playing this downstairs, I'm playing this upstairs. One on the PS4, one on the PS5. Wife Quest was a weird game I picked up. Um, Romantylvania, something I should really go back on here now that I figured out what was wrong with the sound. My name is Mayo. All three games are the easiest platinums you'll ever get in your life. Um, I actually go and finish God of War Ragnarok. God of War 3 Remastered. You need to go see what's up with that. It's just a ton. There's a ton of things to actually go and take on. But, never play that game again. Um, let's see. So it's still Halloween season, still October, and Hollow Knight would, is the next game that we picked up on the platforming side. I do want to finish Source of Madness. That was a good game. I definitely want to finish it. I haven't finished it on my own. What we have on the console right now, Bug Fables, Dark Cloud, High City. Gungrave is actually a good game to pick up after this. Okage Shadow King, I do have it downloaded. I would actually love to play that. That's not a long RPG, but it's definitely a fun one to go through. The animation isn't super crazy, but... Um, Yakuza 3 is something I've been meaning to play on here. And I wouldn't mind going through Tower of Fantasy. Uh, Romancevania, though. Amazing game. Dating Sim slash... Uh, Metroidvania. And Monster Boy is good too. Let's go and take a look online to see what's at PlayStation. Oh, snap! Gotham Knights is now on PlayStation Premium. That's something I kind of do want to play, but I don't... I heard it was garbage. Far Changing Tides, Disco Elysium... Yeah, of course, that's on here now. Um, ooh. That looks kind of neat. The Roki. Every dark fairy tale has its monster. Rediscover magic and chart your adventure through this forget. Let's see here. Best debut game. This is 2020, 2021 awards. Um, rediscover magic and chart your adventure through. This forgotten northern world of mystery and monsters. Find your courage, discover hidden paths, solve an ancient puzzle. So basically, it sounds like the game that I was just playing. Um, sounds like Cardo a little bit. That is okay. This adventure game for all gamers, non-violent gameplay. Okay. Universal themes. I might check it out. Sim or uh, Surgeon Simulator. 
I am... Oh. Weird West is a game I still want to pick up. Based on my gameplay. Moonlighter, Dead Cells, Enter the Gungeon, Gravity Rush. Chris Tales is something I definitely want to check out. Lost Words, Rogue Legacy 2. Give me a second, guys. I have to... Alright, we back. Okay. Uh, Fury Unleashed? That- oh, that looks like... Looks like Contra, but the visuals aren't quite there. Let's see. Looks like... Looks like comic book. Multiplayer. Okay. Oh, is this like... Is that an actual, like, statue? That's kind of dope. That's kind of dope. Okay. It's a little bit dungeon crawler. A little bit roguelike. That's neat. I checked that out. West of Dead. Weird West and West of the Dead are two different games. Got it. Ali Hijo, A Wild West Tale, Malicious Fallen. And what the hell is this? Omno? Oh, this looks like Journey. Single player journey of discovery through ancient world of wonders, full of puzzles, secrets, and it is on now. That's right. Spider Man's out. I should be playing one of the games, but I just got Armored Core 6, so I think I'll be fine. Still have to go and play Horizon Zero Dawn. I just got as well. I will figure out what is next to play, and I might have that for Monday. But, tonight... Today, tonight, I've been working on trying to figure out, or, um... Working on what has been working for the YouTube channel, what has not been working for YouTube, Twitch, all social media for 20XX, and getting everything a little bit more sharpened up. So, I already have... A couple of the music videos that we're going to be seeing next week. Um, weekends, I think it's just going to be free play. We're going to find a game, do it up for a little while. I meant to stream earlier today, just didn't happen. But things are things have been pretty cool lately. Um, be, we've beaten two games on the stream thus far, more than I have in quite a long time when it comes to a lot of these streams. Um, good to make progress it's good to go back and play some games and it's good to just enjoy myself on here it's a way for me to kind of like kick it kick it hang out with people hang out with tw or twitch folk and just i enjoy the stream i enjoy twitch it isn't quite like it was back in oh actually hold up Switch us over to game mode because I just saw something. Single player horror. 
including your membership. Demon Souls or Demon Souls, Hello Neighbor, both Evil Within's, Resident Evil Seven, it's Madness, of course. What is what is the difference? Zombie server, zombie from Equin. This is a game I've been wanting to play for a while. What remains of Edith Finch. Um, but yeah, um, things have definitely improved on the visuals, on just productivity with everything else, and it's a, this is still a cool way, even though 2020 has passed, I've heard a few people talk about how Twitch and Discord and a lot of the other things that were pretty big for people online aren't as big because we can go out and stuff around the world. Um, be that as it may, I definitely still enjoy streaming. I'm glad I'm returning to it. Um, definitely been something on my mind that I kind of left to the winds. And I I look forward to bringing more to this. I definitely want to bring people on to stream with. Um, upgrade the stuff as I can, and I will over time. But any and all of you who have been with me since the beginning, thank you. I know we've been doing this for a couple of years and it's been off and on, but I'm looking forward to sticking around this time and really making something of Twitch channel, the platform, going forward, things are just gonna be amazing. Um, that's all I have to say. Thank you for coming in for the special presentation of the RF streams. I know this is a night, we'll be back two days later. Although I do think some people would prefer me to stream at night. Um, the reasons for that I don't are so that I am open to doing photo shoots, open to working my part time, and it's the night time, so. Um, we, will, we have. Oh, yeah, that's another thing I want to talk about. We're no longer at 9 a.m. I'm sure some people have noticed that I have moved it three hours forward. I have been. It's been great because I'm actually awake during the streams. I've had I've had time to get coffee, do the listings, um, make sure everything is good, and then have time for other like emails, chat, being social on Discord. That's one thing that I don't do enough of. Um, I'll get busy, wrapped up in something, and I'll forget to really go and like hang out. Um, but yeah. 12 p.m. I know I don't get a lot of viewers. It's not the best time for people to come in and check out what's going on. But that enables me to also throw up whatever game or music video or the things that I do have planned up over on YouTube later. And like I said, there's going to be more different types of content. I'm bringing music reviews to the stream starting next week. That's one of the things I'm planning out this weekend. I've got a couple... I've got a couple singles and albums over in the in the holster, so be ready for that. And I'm just yeah, every day is going to be a, something a little bit different. It's it's a progressive thing. Ch things going to be changing over time, but those are the plans, and that's that's what I've been doing a little bit of here and there. Um, but yeah, again, thank you for being part of this. This has been the RF stream. I'm Johnny, and. Like, follow, subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw here. We'll do a high. I'll cut the highlight for the final boss in Dark Cloud. All that good. Um, and I'll return next week with a new game to replace it. I think it's going to be Armored Core 6. I might flip a coin. We'll see. I just know that I'm going to be playing a lot of the game, and that's going to be something that I can put a lot of time and energy out of. And there's a lot of. There's. A lot of post game and there's apparently a lot of post post game i don't know how that works yet but i'm gonna start tonight and find out have a great weekend i'll see you we're not gonna be on on sunday i'll see you monday 12 p.m have a great weekend have a great sunday have a great saturday night if you're still out there and watching this and i'll see you over in the discord link will be out a little bit later just in case you want to join in on the phone um, we share music, games, gun blah, all the fun stuff. We're awesome nerds. Come hang out with us. Anyway, 
Y'all have a great night. Um, last but not least, it's too mellow. Atmosphere Car Music Volume One on Bandcamp and Spotify. Go check them out. Um, we love too mellow. So Halloween music is a thing. I hope y'all have something planned good. I'm gonna be at a concert and we're gonna have a Halloween party and it's gonna be dope. Anyway, all right, I'm out. Have a good weekend, y'all.